Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here. Today we'll go ahead and install the Guest Editions tools for VirtualBox in order to get our resolution fixed in Debian 10, as in our previous video where we installed Debian 10 Buster on VirtualBox. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and boot into our Debian 10 virtual machine that we installed. If you haven't already installed this, you can go to my previous video. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below, as well as you might see a pop-up here. Um, also make sure to go ahead and like the video. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Go ahead, open up your Debian 10 virtual machine by starting it up. Let's let it boot. As you can tell, the resolution really isn't scaling properly. Now once the system finally boots up here, we'll go ahead and log into our user. Allow Debian 10 to boot up. Get to the desktop and then we will go ahead and install the guest editions tools. So in order to do this, what we want to first do is go up to the top and hit the insert guest edition CD image. You can also do this by manually trying to find it through uh, file explorer going to settings. So let's go back, right clicking, going to settings, hitting storage and see this empty container. What you can do is actually hit here and choose a virtual optical disk. You'll have to search for where on your system they've included the guest editions image on or at. So since it's easier to do it the other way, we're just gonna go ahead and go back to our virtual machine of Debian 10, hit the devices, and they have this neat little feature here where it says insert guest edition CD image. So we'll go ahead, hit that, and we should be getting some kind of a notification here um, so it tells us that um, it has mounted this CD from our host disk and it contains some software. Do we want to automatically run it? No, we don't want to run it because there will be issues running it right off the bat. So let's go ahead and cancel. It being mounted is good enough for us at this point. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead and open up our terminal. So we can do that by hitting the activities up top and this little dotted array here and we can search for terminal and here we are so now we got a terminal prompt that comes up first thing we want to go ahead and do is let's go ahead and try installing the guest editions tools we can do this by first logging into some kind of a root user uh, so that's going to be sue uh, root for me, password, whatever your password may be for your super user. After you've logged in, you can see you have root at your host's name. So now what we'll do is go ahead and try installing. So if we do the sh command and you'll actually have the media already mounted as a CD-ROM because we went through the devices and inserted the guest editions as a CD. So that should be under media and then CD-ROM zero. And then we will go ahead and list out everything. You can do that by just hitting tab tab. What we want to run is the VBox Linux editions dot run file. So let's go ahead and try running this. And it's gonna go ahead and try installing everything. So that happened awfully quick, which makes me think it did not install correctly. So let's read through this real quick. Here we go. So virtual box editions, kernel headers not found for target kernel. So the proper kernel headers are not installed, therefore VirtualBox guest editions cannot install properly. So what we'll do is let's in fact check and make sure that we are missing the headers. 
if you're not missing the headers, this might have worked for you already. And then all you'll have to do is reboot, but I'm gonna go ahead and fix this error. So if we do D package dpkg, and then this switch here, get selections, pipe that to grep, and search for Linux headers. So as you can tell, it couldn't find Linux headers. So I went ahead and just grep for Linux just to see if we got any other output from the terminal, and we do. So we're missing the headers. What we'll wanna do now is go ahead and make sure to install the headers. Let's go ahead and clear our terminal by simply typing in clear, and then we will try getting the headers. First, we want to make sure we're updated to the latest and greatest repos. After you've done that, go ahead and do apt get install build essential. And then we can do the Linux headers and we want it for our current kernel. So if we do rename R, we can put ticks in. So make sure you put a tick in instead of uh, quotation marks or anything else. Uh, and then we'll put DMKS at the end here. I screwed that up, so we're gonna try again here. Have to get install build essential Linux headers dash tick mark Linux oops you name dash R DKMS Yes. See, I messed up the tick myself. Make sure you get that right, or you will get an error like I did above. Let this do its thing. Might take a few more seconds here. All right, we're done installing the headers, so let's just make sure that they did get installed. We can go up in our commands and just uh, go to the dpkg1. What we see here is that we now have our headers. So let's go ahead and retry installing the guest editions. SH, it's in media, CD ROM zero. For me, you might have a different one. You can do tab tab and it'll tell you all the ones available. Uh, CD ROM zero for me. And we want the VBox Linux editions that run. So hit in, let's see if it can install now. So now it's taking a little longer. Looks like uh, it's working a little bit better this time. This might take a few more moments. interesting part about this is that uh, installing VirtualBox guest editions really changes from uh, distribution to distribution just because there's different ways of installing it. Sometimes it's as easy as running the CD as soon as you have mounted it to your system and then it just finishes up itself. Other times uh, it's missing packages so you have to install them before it actually works correctly. This time we weren't as lucky for Debian 10, but um, after this is done, 
it will help us with our resolution and scalability here. So it says uh, we must restart in order for this package to take effect. We just installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the system. Oh, let's see, sudo boot. There we go. I needed to add a sudo in front there in order to work. So it's rebooting the system now. It's, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter so it boots in quicker. And hopefully now we have uh, the ability to scale our resolution properly. And our screen here. We'll test it as soon as we can log in. And this tells me that it did work because as you can see, as I'm making the window larger, it's scaling Debian 10 accordingly. We'll go ahead and log in just to check, make sure. All right, let's just make it full screen here. It's asking me if I really want to do this. Yeah, I do. So very cool. Look, it looks a lot better here in full screen mode. Then you can also tell our resolutions looking a lot better as well. So you have now successfully installed the guest editions tools on your Debian 10 Buster Linux desktop. So congratulations, it looks good. You're ready to go ahead and use your virtual machine as it was intended. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know if I missed any steps or could have made something clearer for you guys. Uh, I also look forward to seeing you in my other videos. Catch you in another one.